Hello, hello, good people. Hello there. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for Thursday, January 12th, 2017. It's my daddy's birthday to boot, January 12th. Listen, um, this morning I want to come to you about something that I have seen a lot lately um, over the last couple of weeks. And so I just want to bring it to your perspective that, you know, leadership goes so much further and higher and deeper and, and, and beyond a bigger bank account or, you know, the parking spot or the tag on the door. Now you got your name played on the door. It's so much more than that because people are involved. And when we make an investment in people, we need to know a few things going in. Okay. There will always be the people price to pay and it can be a high cost, a high price tag at times. Um, when we invest in people, we just need to be prepared to take the good, the bad, the ugly, the painful, all of it. We need to know that going in or else it's like a, an adoption gone bad. You know, you want and you crave and you dream of and you just pray for this, this baby and you finally get the adoption approved. And then when the child starts acting up and, you know, calls you out of your name and looks at you like you're crazy, you want to pick up the child and take them back to the adoption agency. Okay. If we know going in that there is a high cost to pay for leadership, we can be better prepared as leaders. Okay. You know, actually, so what I really want to say is or remind you is that don't give up on the person fighting you the hardest. That one that has the most fierce determination to rebuke everything and rebuff every one of your attempts to help them is the one that needs you the most. And if we know that ahead of time, we can be more prepared for the ugly that is, you know, about to happen. I liken, I was thinking about this, and I liken leadership to um, a lifeguard, a surgeon, and a master, a master gardener. Lifeguards know in advance. While they're going through training, they recognize um, you can't just go out there, oh, somebody needs me, I'll go help. You're about to get almost drowned yourself because the person who is seriously drowning is going to fight you. And it's out of their desperation for air to breathe that they will fight the person trying to help them. I've never seen it happen, and I've seen it too often, but I've never seen it happen where a lifeguard rescues someone who says, Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Just take me on in. No, they're fighting. They're fighting for their very life, their breath. And even they will fight the one who is there to help them. Lifeguards know that going in. And they don't get irritated with the person for the struggle. Uh, the surgeon. The surgeon cannot be immobilized because he knows or she knows that there is pain getting ready to happen at the end of that scalpel. It's that same scalpel that will take out the disease. And, and there's going to be pain as much as they're going to help. There's going to be pain involved in that. Or the master gardener. Not afraid to use pruning shears. Because they know for the full beauty, the full potential, the full aroma to come out of this life, they got to cut away some of the stuff that is draining resources, draining nutrients. If it's useless, if it's non-productive, a master gardener will cut away. As leaders, we need to know that going in. Good, bad, and ugly. Hey, it's called real life because people are involved. So those of us who aspire and are clamoring for and desperately fighting everybody to climb the ladder and get into uh, positions of leadership and you don't even like people, slow your roll. When leadership is done well, there is a high cost to pay. It's the people price tag. Okay. 
know that going in. Okay, until next time, take real good care.